Structural home fires happen every 88 seconds, which accounts to 350,000 fires a year. So it got me to thinking to wonder how flammable is insulation that's in the home? Well, today we're gonna find that out. I've scoured the entire hardware store to find every single different kind of insulation from spray foam to fiberglass to wool, you name it, we have it all here. And today we're gonna find out exactly how flammable the insulation really is. Let's get started. One of the first things we're gonna need to do is build ourselves a test wall that all the insulation will be mounted on so we can conduct this science experiment. All right, let's start for our first test run here is this is our classic fiberglass bat insulation. This is the basic stuff that's in your walls. This has a paper backing, which is called faced, and that's simply just being a vapor barrier. It's definitely gonna be flammable, but the internet says that being fiberglass, that it's not flammable. We're gonna be the judges of that. Next up, we have our wool insulation. From my little research that I've done on wool insulation, it says that it's not flammable. They're saying it's fire resistant, meaning naturally the material that it is, it does not combust. The old Google is wool insulation flammable. Uh, mineral wool insulation is also non-combustible and can be used as a fire rated wall and roof assemblies. Okay, good to know. Next up, we have the sound and thermal and fire cellulose insulation. They're used for attics, walls, and floors. It's blown in or spray applied. This is gonna be interesting to install because I don't know how uh, put together it is, but maybe we could just jam it in there. This looks like recycled carpet. Oh, this is gonna be messy. I can already feel, ah, oh, it's crumbling already. Okay, um, well, let's just try to shove it in there, I guess. I need a respirator. I don't know where my respirator is. Ah. All right, so there's no way I can get it to stay in there without crumbling down. So I'm gonna just need to create like a barrier for it to be held up. I'm just gonna use some plastic. The plastic will burn through, and I'm sure when it's burning, it's all just gonna start piling out, but at least it'll hold it in place for now. Next up is the reflective radiant insulation. Now this has a foil like finish to it. It's plastic in the middle and there's air bubbles in it. The foil might keep it from burning and sparking really fast until the plastic starts melting. We're gonna throw this in there just to see what it looks like. I've used this stuff in saunas before. I'm actually really curious to find out how flammable it is. Next up we have is classic styrofoam insulation. This is the stuff people would put in their garage doors and stuff like that. I'll be completely honest with you. I think the sucker is gonna spark and it's gonna spark fast. There's no way this thing could be any sorts of fire resistance. Only one way to find out though. And lastly, we have spray foam insulation. This is closed cell system. What's great about it is it creates a vapor barrier already. It has about an R value of roughly between 10 and 12. And we're just gonna try to put on roughly two to three inches. And then by the time it expands, we'll see what happens. We're gonna give about an hour for the spray foam to set. We'll take it into a safe spot, grab our safety equipment, fire extinguisher, and we'll find out which one is the most and the least flammable. I'd love to hear what you guys think in the comment section. Personally, I think the wool is gonna do great. I think this fire thermal cellulose is gonna do great. And I'm not too sure about the spray foam. Everything else I think is just gonna go up in flames. We have all of our insulation in. We have our both fire extinguisher and fire flame. The grass is wet. It's been raining for the last couple of days, so I'm not worried about it catching on fire. Although if I had a concrete base, probably more ideal, but we're prepared for anything. What we're trying to see here is how quickly it will catch on fire. This part is gonna be messy because it's all gonna fall out, but the rest of it, I think what's gonna happen is just gonna slowly melt. Let's start with our classic fiberglass insulation.
paper is burning just like we thought. I'm not seeing the fiberglass doing much. It's gonna start burning our frame. Yeah, the fiberglass is not burning at all. It's just scorching. That's really impressive. It just burned this hole in here and that's basically from the torch. That's, that's some heavy duty heat. That's so crazy. I had no idea. Always fun when you get to use a fire extinguisher. Next up, we have the wool. Now this stuff, I don't think it's gonna do anything. Whoa. That's crazy. It's like refusing to start on fire. Yo, this is nuts. Wow. Listen, man, if I could put wool insulation in my entire house, I would. Look at that. That's nuts. Holy cow. All right, this one's gonna be messy. I think this one is gonna do what this one did, but I'll start on the top so it doesn't fall out too much. Well, it's getting charred better. In a cut fire. Yeah, it's kind of burning. I mean, it's not burning through. It's all gonna get put out. Definitely not as good as wool, but also this plastic is contributing, but it's burning right there. That's really impressive. Well, there you have it. I mean, cellulose insulation, it's, it's tough stuff. Actually, all three of these did great, but this one's the winner so far. Next up, the reflective radiant insulation. Like I said, this thing's gonna melt like plastic. I mean, I don't. It didn't catch fire too easily. I mean, if you do like a quick one, it's, it's actually not bad. But look at it go. I mean, that thing is gonzo. Did terribly, but not as terribly as I thought it would. So maybe light flame would do just fine. But if it's a consistent, you know, map gas, it'll burn. Oh yeah, it'll burn. All right, this is gonna be like a hot butter knife. Hold on a second. That's not bad at all. I'm trying to be generous. This is a really hot flame. I mean, this is probably a propane torch would be better because it's not as hot as map gas but I underestimated this. What the freak? It's not sparking. That's wild. I mean, it's melting a little bit. Wow. Foam insulation, styrofoam insulation does so much better than actually this reflective thermal. Wow. It does not want to catch on fire. Dang. Okay, well, I was 100% wrong about the foam insulation. Okay, so seeing how this did, I think it's gonna do the same with the spray insulation. They're saying it's meant for this kind of stuff, but something about it makes me feel like it's gonna... All right, well, let's see it. Three, two, one. It wants to. It wants to start fire. It's just charring up. It looks like a giant marshmallow. That's wild. Look at it. That's nuts. I had no idea insulation is this resistant. Except for the paper backing. I don't know why we're using paper backing. I get it, it's a moisture barrier, but I feel like this plastic, if we were to use like a vapor barrier that's on unfazed batten insulation, it would actually put out the fire quicker because the plastic melts way quicker versus the paper was almost feeding the flames on the studs here, which are majority of the houses has faced insulation, majority, especially new construction. So the way I'm anticipating the paper just starts burning the rest of your wood. We shouldn't be doing that, should we? Okay, well, to be honest with you, my money is on wool insulation number one and spray foam insulation number two. Usually you put the foam boards, like I said, into your garage door and shove it somewhere else, but those are, those are the ones to go with if you wanna keep your house from burning down, I guess. <laughs> that's nuts. Oh, that's great. Well, hands down, the worst is gonna be your paper face insulation and your radiant reflective insulation. Uh, apart from that, fiberglass did great, wool did wonderful, 
that cellulose did great, terrible, foam board did great, and spray foam did fantastic. I put a lot of heat on that sucker. Well, thanks so much for watching this video, guys. I had so much fun testing this out. If you found it helpful, let me know in the comment section. And if you have any other tests of insulation that we should do on the next one, I'd love to hear them in the comment section below. In the meantime, here's a video I think you might enjoy. See ya, bye.